All right, guys, I went to the hobby shop. If you didn't see uh, a couple videos ago, I showed you this T-Max that I had that's been sitting for 10 years. We tried to get it running in the last video that I had it in, and I had no luck because I didn't have fresh glow plug, fresh fuel, uh, and it's it's just been sitting so, so, so damn long that, um, you know, we don't know what's gonna happen. But the motor does turn over. I have the easy start wand here. I'm gonna actually disconnect this um, this glow plug driver from the easy start. I'm just gonna leave this disconnected because apparently that's a big issue with these things. And I uh, just have a, a newer uh, wand that just goes right inside on the top there for the for that. And this thing will just turn the starter. I got. I had problems with the battery on this before too. So I'm gonna put a fresh battery in this uh, and we're gonna not use this fresh fuel. We're gonna make this thing run today, I hope. And we're gonna see this T-Max come to life. Um, this is a 3.3 stock motor that uh, has been, again, in storage for 10 years. I wanna hear noise out of this thing. So let's go ahead get that set up, take this outside and see if we can't make it run. And then if we get that bad boy going, I got a surprise for you guys. Cause you know, I go to the hobby shop. I can't leave without something new. It's just a, it's what happens. Um, so my good friends over at RC Revolution, they hooked me up and now I got a new RC. Check this out. These bad boys just hit the market not too long ago. This is from Traxxas. This is their Drag Slash. So, as you guys know, I have a Drag Jado. If you haven't seen it, go look at the old videos um, that I used to drag race with. I'm gonna get that going too. It's been sitting for years as well, um, but it's a Nitro. So, electric's the rage. Most of the electric cars are, are, are getting pretty fast. So, I wanna stay competitive and I wanna have something pretty cool. So, I picked up one of these Drag Slashes and I'm gonna, gonna put everything I've got into it and we'll see what happens. So um, I'm hoping to, uh, to crank off some pretty fast 132 foot, which is scale quarter mile times. I have the Traxxas drag timing systems, the DTS. Um, it's in the other room. It's been put away for a long time as well. So we'll get that out. It connects using the Traxxas Link software, which is on the remote. I'll show you guys that whole system if you haven't seen it. Um, but it's very accurate, it's very nice, it's laser. You just measure out 132 feet, which is um, pretty simple to do. And you set up the, the laser reflectors at those distances. And it's got its own little tree and everything, so it's really cool. Either way, let's first get this old good timer out and see if we can get this running, because this is honestly my favorite monster truck of all time. And it's nitro, it's loud, it's two-speed transmission, it does wheelies, it makes tons of noise, and it's nearly indestructible. People jump houses with these things. This is old, probably 20 years old or, or older at this point. Uh, so hopefully none of these brittle old plastic pieces break on me. But when they were new, man, I'm telling you, you were really trying to break one of these. So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get this bad boy going. We hear some noise coming. It's about to run, I think. It's running. Okay, so she's running. I'm gonna see if we can get her warmed up real quick. But she is a running machine, so let me warm this up real quick and we'll Get her going. Here we are. Driving this with one hand is stupid. I gotta get some way of 
holding this camera. I don't have my tripod or anything here at the house, so. Let me go see if I can figure something out. I'm ready to drive. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to hold this camera with a jet ski life jacket. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this thing going. We've already run it a little bit, so shouldn't need too much more warming up. We're going to go and run it. Glow plug starter on. Let's light up. Hit it. This out. Oh yeah. Sounds a little lean. There she goes. Oh yeah. Hopefully you guys can see this. Still a little lean. Gonna add a little more fuel. Just yanks the wheels. How cool. Jeez. I'm trying to keep it away from the cars because it's spitting rocks everywhere. What a monster though, huh? Still lean, I hear it. Oh, it knocked the pipe off. touching it anyway <laughs> it runs that's awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and put the pipe back on uh needs a little more tuning obviously she's a little bit lean and this is the first time it's run in 10 years so i'm pretty excited about that that's that's a huge success in my book i'm wearing a jet ski jacket like i told you that's how i'm <laughs> holding the phone uh but anyway pretty happy about that i'm gonna go ahead and finish this thing up get this back together run it a little bit more but you saw it t-max 10 years ago it's back baby well it started pouring outside so i'm gonna have to hang up the nitro for the day but let's get this thing opened up and take a look at it because i'm super excited to have this uh, and you guys know drag racing is a hot RC fad, I guess you want to call it right now. Um, I used to do a lot of drag racing RC-wise back in the day. Some of you know that. If you go and check my old videos, like the first videos, you're going to see some cool RC top speed and drag racing stuff. Um, this is new. This is modern. So basically a lot of guys used to take uh, Traxxas Slash. And they would mod it for drag racing. But now, with the components all readily available, Traxxas being Traxxas, which is very uh, good, Traxxas being Traxxas, they follow the trends and they create a ready-to-run experience for people so they can get their feet wet with stuff. I have the Traxxas Dragster, the top fuel funny car. I'll go grab that real quick so we can check that out. And we'll get this out. We'll compare them. Traxxas Dragster, this is the funny car. Classic now. Um, this thing rips. It's the best way to put it. Got a three cell battery in it. 5200 milliamp. Uh, and this thing does around 80 miles an hour. Close to it. And uh, 
it gets there pretty quick. So really cool though. A lot of awesome features in this car. It's nice and nice and scale looking, which I love. Got these proprietary tires. I'm not too fond of them. Um, they're a pretty hard tire. So that's just, that's that's the downfall of this car for Traxxas. These wheels and tires, they look great. They perform like crap. Um, so as soon as you get up over 50, 60 miles per hour with this thing, you get a ton of wheel shake. It's They're not very balanced. There's no, no replacements for them. So um, that's what's cool about the modern stuff. Now the electronics that are in here are really cool. This is a Castle Creations, um, what's the word? Collab. And it's a really cool speed controller called the ET3. Um, it can only do 3S, can't do 4-cell, sadly. That would be fun, but either way, the integration with this remote is incredible. It has burnout, stage, race, and it all works. You basically, you stay, you, you do a burnout, and then you stage it with the little button, and then you hold the trigger, you hold this, pull the trigger, or this way, pull the trigger, and then when you hit the button, the car takes off. It's like a, like a trans brake, if you will. Uh, this all hooks up to an iPhone. Old school, look at that thing. No more. The new one is uh, Bluetooth, I believe, and it's got a little module. You gotta buy it separately, I'm pretty sure, but we'll get that eventually. Right now, I'm gonna pull out of the box so we can look at the two side by side. Here's what's in the box, in case anyone's wondering. Not gonna waste too much time. You know the drill, hardware, car, gotta put your wheelie bars on. This should take a minute. Let's put it together. So here he is. Ready to go with the wheelie bar. The wheelie bar is really long. Um, it's about three quarters of the length of the whole car, honestly, uh, if you put that here. So overall length is about three to four inches longer than the funny car, which is crazy because the funny car has a tiny little wheelie bar, sort of. It's adjustable. This is adjustable as well, it adjusts here. Um, but that wheelie bar is minuscule compared to this. And the wheel base, you can see here, is a little shorter than the funny car. So about three inches shorter, two and a half inches shorter than the funny car. So I'm really curious to see how this is gonna play out. Technically, it should be a little wheelie happy, which is good thing we have the wheelie bar, and there's a little more adjustment. I can really slam it all the way down. Suspension adjustment as well. I can slam the suspension a little bit so that it doesn't have quite as much um, mechanical leverage, but if we don't get traction, we want that. We want that weight transfer to allow this thing to hook. So, just like a real car, this is getting closer to scale physics um, that are going to translate going from a big car tuning to, to this one. These tires are really sticky. They're a much softer rubber, uh, and there's a lot more sidewall. So I do like these tires a lot better than the funny car tires, which are kind of a fake tire. The tire actually starts all the way down here, and this is all plastic, even though it looks like rubber. So scale looks... This is definitely a champion. It just looks right. This thing looks a little wide, and it's because it is. Put the body on it, and you can see it's it's wide. It's a it's square, but um, overall, it does look pretty good. It's a sharp looking truck. I'm gonna see. There's there's obviously more bodies that are able to fit these. That by now they've created some different solutions so i'm going to look and see let me know what you guys think what body should we put on it i'm charging a battery now so um i don't think i'm gonna get to run it tonight though because it is raining still i don't have anywhere to go so next video we're definitely going to be taking this thing out for a honk and see what it does i like the way it looks overall i like the blue it's a really cool color they also have them in red and i think another color i can't remember but um let me know what you guys think yeah I'm going to take this thing out, hopefully tomorrow, and not break it. We'll see. I'd like to see, you know, 70 miles an hour or so in a scale quarter mile. That would be awesome. I think we'd be doing something right if we hit that. Um, we've got two cell batteries. We've got three cell batteries. Um, 
I don't know. I haven't I haven't done my research on this. I just picked it up because I saw it at the at the hobby shop and I, I figured I could do something cool with it. So let's see. Let's see in the next one. See ya.